We did have somebody make a comment on one of the YouTube videos that they had left the hummingbird uh, nectar out. Uh, it was the red nectar. They left it out for two or three days and the hummingbird stopped coming. And I had just thought, you know, maybe in these really hot temperatures, you just have to keep changing it out, you know, really frequently. Yes, and that's with any, any nectar. Uh, if, it, if you're looking at, as we are here, right about 90 degrees, you put uh, any mixture of sugar and a fluid outside without it being, you've got opening, so it's, it's open to anything that comes up to it, and hummingbirds bring bacteria and stuff, and that's fine. But after some period of time, let's say two, three, four, five days, you've got a problem or a building problem where this stuff, start, the bacteria in there start developing. And when they get too, too much of them in there, that's not a good thing. Uh, the birds can handle some of it. It's not really a problem. But if you see the, the, the nectar getting a little cloudy or something, just change it out. If right. you're finding that's happening and you haven't thrown a lot of weight, don't put as much out until you have more birds. Right. So uh, it's just a good thing to keep your eye on it and expect it with any nectar out there if it if you have a nectar out there in hot weather and it's been out there for a week and it hasn't changed or anything it's probably got preservatives in it you right. go back and check your content yeah. so the, it, it's assuredly got something in it to stop growth of bacteria and, and things in it so and that's not something you really want Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.